Good morning, my name is Ashley and this is an at home with Imagine If Storytime. We are gonna get started today by singing the Itsy Bitsy Spider and I'm going to sing and do the actions to my Cabbage Patch doll here. Here's how the song goes. The Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Why don't we read a book next? My story today is Mrs. Pinochle's Bug Alphabet. A is for ant. Ants are super strong and can live up to 30 years. B is for bumblebee. Buzzing from flower to flower, they spread pollen that helps flowers grow. C is for cricket. Crickets are Mrs. Pinochle's favorite because their night song means it's summertime. D is for dragonfly, whose head is one big eye. All the better for finding and eating mosquitoes. Jump! E is for elephant hawk moth, which is a lovely shade of pink and lives in England. F is for firefly. Their blinking bodies light the summer night sky like stars. G is for grasshopper, who can jump over three feet at a time. Some people even eat them. H is for housefly. Houseflies carry a lot of germs. So Mrs. Pinochle says, keep them off your food. I is for inchworm. Not really a worm, but a caterpillar. They turn into moths when they grow up. J is for June bug. Born underground, they come out in June when frogs love to eat them for a summer snack. K is for katydid, which looks like a leaf. Some people call them bush crickets. L is for ladybug, the loveliest of insects. They help Mrs. Pinochle by eating the bugs on her roses. M is for monarch butterfly. Its children, little caterpillars, only eat milkweed. Can you believe the monarch can fly from Maine to Mexico? N is for nymph a name for some baby insects. Some people believe in nature spirits, also called nymphs. O is for orange sulfur butterfly. They can be orange or yellow and love to live in fields of clover. P is for praying mantis. It looks like it's praying, but it's not. They are so big that they can eat a frog. Q is for queen bee who's in charge of laying eggs for the whole hive of bees. She's the hive mom, and for that, she gets to eat royal jelly. R is for rhinoceros beetle, the strongest insect of them all. It can lift 850 times its own weight. S is for stink bug. They love to travel and release a stinky smell to avoid being eaten. Phew! T is for termite, who've lived on Earth for 250 million years. They build giant mounds that tourists sometimes visit. U is for underwing moth. With their wings closed, they look just like tree bark. With their wings open, they're an orange delight. V is for vine borer. Who love to eat squash? When these pests invade, Mrs. Pinochle plants melon instead. W is for wasp. They may seem mean, but they eat bugs that harm plants and build their own paper homes. X is for Xerxes, who is now extinct. We can protect other insects and animals by protecting nature. Y is for yellow mealworm, a yummy treat for lizards and birds. Some humans eat them too, but not Mrs. Pinochle. Z 
is for Zoraptoran, for Zoraptoran, Zoraptoran. Tiny and clear, if you see one say, hi. After all, bugs are our friends. The end. One of my favorite activities to host after story time in the library is to hold a bug scavenger hunt. And I usually pull out a bunch of plastic bugs. But because we read this book today and we are outside, why don't we have a real bug scavenger hunt and work on some vocabulary words and some observational skills. I haven't found very many bugs besides spiders and ants, but I did find some huckleberries. I found a honeybee. Look at all the ants I found. Thanks everyone for watching. Enjoy your bug hunts and I'll see you next time. Bye.